Hello, welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. All right, today for our next episode, I would like to discuss Toad Kiss. And when I pitched this idea to my proofreader, he then followed up with this question. Would you like me to proofread cancer? And I would like to thank Pachma for proofreading the Toad Kiss script. Now, later on in the program, I can explain why Toad Kiss is such a quote unquote cancer. But, long story short, if you run a team of walls, then Tokis is your worst nightmare. Don't let that smile and that cuteness fool you. Tokis is a monster. And our advertiser is even scared of Tokis too. And let's go ahead and cut to Magazone because he helps me pay for all the lights and the effects here in the studio. And, oh! I should note this, that Grubble King told me that he would like to see a bit more of an involved role in Magnazone, so the Magnazone skit might go for a little longer. Please let me know if it's too long or not in the comments. I really appreciate your feedback, and without further ado, let's go ahead and cut to Magnazone. He was originally a used Magnazone salesman, and then he was a resort owner, and a hot air balloon eliminator, even though I would argue that's not a hot air balloon, that's more of a Garatina, but Magnazone's Magnazone. And now we have a daycare operator. All right, let's go ahead and cut to Magnazone and see what he's up to these days. All right, this is the Magnazone's daycare, where you can be able to breed Pokemon, buy braces, and ability pails, and you can even have a leveling service. So feel free to check out the Magnazone Daycare. Now, oh, you might be saying to me, but Magnazone, this is not the Magnazone Daycare, this is the Pokemon Daycare. Well, thanks to Grovel King, he gave me a loan. I was able to stop by the Pokemon Home Depot, and I was able to get a cardboard sheet and an Expo marker, and I'm going to go ahead and fix the sign right there that says, Pokemon Daycare, let us raise your Pokemon. Change that to Magnazone's daycare. All right, excuse me for one moment, and you might hear a hammer, so excuse me. All right, perfect. That looks great. So now this is the Magnazone daycare. Awesome. Now this guy, you can be able to give him two Pokemon. You can be able to breed whatever you want. Genders, you can charge the fees if you want to choose gender. Everything's exactly the same. And you can even breed genderless Pokemon too. Just don't breed me because I want to stay alive. But you can breed other Magnazones still, just don't breed me, specifically. And if you go inside, you can be able to chat with her, and you can be able to do your leveling service. I have a leveling service here in the daycare. And also, you can be able to chat with the granddaughter here, and you can go ahead and get braces. And you can have the ability pail too, which is awesome. I try to get this guy out, but for some odd reason, he keeps staring at the wall. Man, you can stare at the wall outside. Don't do it inside. You're creeping everybody out. All right. All right. So now, go buy the Magnazone Daycare and check it out. Oh, and Roy Rogers, before we go back to him, I should note that he's doing a competitive analysis on Togekiss. And, oh, boy. I'm kind of terrified personally because I don't want to be Aurora Sphere, nor do I want to be Flamethrowered. Oh, oh boy. As a Magnazone, I'm starting to have a little bit of some nightmares myself. Woo -wee. But I went ahead and stopped by the Pokemon Home Depot, got it a hammer, and I'm going to give it to Togepi since Togepi didn't completely hatch from the egg, and I thought Togepi needs some help, so I wanted to give it a hammer. So that way it can bust up the egg completely, so that way the Pokemon can be completely free. All right. Well, Tokus, you can now, well, don't Aurora for me or Flamethrower me. I'm trying to take care of your baby, all right? Be kind to me. That cute face terrifies me. Oh, boy. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and go back to that. Roy Rogers guy before Tokus, Aurora Spheres, or Flamethrowers me. Certain to have nightmares already. All right. I don't think that's Magnazone's daycare. I think he just bought out the daycare over in Town and he 
got a sheet of cardboard and expo marker then he made it his own daycare even though that's not the original name of that daycare Magazone be Magazone let's go ahead and dive into Toe Kiss right now Toe Kiss's tier is OU its type is normal and flying its resistances are bug and grass its weaknesses are rock electric and ice and its immunities are ghost and ground and there are some editor's notes here unless you're holding a ring target if this is the case then ghost and ground moves will make contact also if you use the moves gravity or smackdown or if you're holding an iron ball then ground type moves will land lastly do not pass an ingrain effect or ground type moves will make contact and let's go ahead and dive into those base stats so Togekiss's HP is 85, its attack is 50, its defense is 95, its special attack is 120, its special defense is 115, and its speed is 80. Togekiss is pretty well known as special defensive tank, or it's also well known as a decent special attacker. So you can mold Togekiss to whatever you want it to do, and depending on what build of Togekiss you have, are the threats you can address. For example, if you were to give it a choice scarf and 252 special attack and 252 speed, and then you have the move air slash, then you could be able to address Garchomp because you're hoping for flinches, which I can get to in the ability section. Or if you want to destroy walls, well, you don't have to run timid. You can just run air slash and nasty plot and then boost your Air Slash's power so that way you can knock out things like Chansey. I didn't mince words here. You can knock out Chansey with Air Slash and I have done that before. It is a lot of fun. And especially when Chansey toxics you, you can just heal Bell it right off, which I can get to later in the program. But man, I just love torturing Chansey with Tokus. It is so much fun. As you can tell, I'm really looking forward to diving into the sets because Togekiss is a very fun Pokemon. Let's go and dive into its abilities. And Hustle is a very useless ability. It boosts the attack stat at the cost of its accuracy stat. Not only is Togekiss not a good physical attacker because its attack stat is 50, but you also have an accuracy drop as well. So Togekiss doesn't really like the Hustle ability too much, but you can run Serene Grace which is a worthwhile ability. It boosts the likelihood of added effects appearing. Air Slash flinches. Oh man, those are so great. Or tri attack with those parahaxes and freezes and burns. Oh man, Tokus can just do the hurt on almost anything. A lot of your opponents get very angry after you win with Tokus, but it is such a fun tool. And you wonder why people run Choice Scarf Garchomp with Stone Edge. This is a pretty good reason to run that. And you thought Serene Grace is bad. Just wait until Hidden Abilities get implemented, folks, because you get Super Luck, which heightens the critical hit ratios of moves. A lot of Pokemon shiver at the very idea of Tokus getting Super Luck, but thankfully, as of the time of this taping, Super Luck is not implemented pretty deadly. All right, and let's go ahead and dive into this Cancer right now. So you have the classic Hax Kiss, which is the most common. The IVs are HP plus 25, attack doesn't matter, defense is plus 25, special attack is 31, special defense is plus 25, and speed is 31. Its EVs are 6 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed. Its nature is timid, so plus speed minus attack. Its moves are Nasty Plot, Air Slash, Aurora Sphere, and Tri Attack. Its item is Leftovers, and its ability is Serene Grace. And what Leftovers does is, it's an item that Togekiss can hold, and every turn you passively recover. So that is the benefit to using leftovers. Now let's go ahead and dive into Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot is a move that boosts your special attack by plus two every turn. So you can use it at a maximum of three turns. And then you can be able to be at the max of plus six special attack. And then you have Air Slash, which has a chance to flinch. Although that chance gets heightened if you were to use that with a Serene Grace Pokemon like Togekiss. So Togekiss makes Air Slash that much better. 
And then you have Aurora Sphere, which allows you to hit Pokemon that are Steel types. That's why Magnezone was shivering. He couldn't stand the idea of flamethrowers or Aurora Spheres. And Tokus can run both of them. But Aurora Sphere is a fighting type move that is a special attacking fighting type move. And it is certain to hit, meaning that it does not miss at all. Which is wonderful, because you get guaranteed hits every time. Air Slash could miss though, otherwise if it was a 100% accurate move, then just imagine how broken Air Slash would be. I am so thankful that Air Slash has missed sometimes, because when I face against other Toad Kisses, then I do have a slim chance to pull out a victory, but I am so glad that Air Slash doesn't hit 100% of the time, otherwise Toad Kiss would be very broken. And then you have Tri-Attack, and this is a pretty powerful normal type special attack move, and this move has a chance to either paralyze, burn, or freeze your opponent. Tokus is a very nice addition to your team for the Tri-Attack move. And it's Stab too, so you can be able to do that. Not really much coverage, but the benefit is that you do hit a lot of things hard because Tokus is normal type and Tokus gets that stab bonus every time it uses Tri-Attack. And not only does Tri-Attack get a stab bonus, but also thanks to the Serene Grace ability, the added effects chance heightens. So if you want to paralyze or burn or freeze your opponent, you have a higher chance of doing that with a Togekiss because of Serene Grace. Tri-Attack could make Togekiss pretty broken. And if you're not really into setting up and destroying your opponent, no problem, there's another variant of Togekiss you can run. The Defensive Kiss. And the IVs are HP 31, Attack Doesn't Matter, Defense is 31, Special Attack is 31, Special Defense is 31, and Speed is 31. Its EVs are 252 HP, 252 Defense, and 6 Speed. Its nature is bold, so plus Defense minus Attack. Its moves are Nasty Plot, Air Slash, Heal Bell, and either Soft Boiled or Roost. Its item is Leftovers, and its ability is Serene Grace. Let's go ahead and talk about Heal Bell. What Heal Bell does is that it cures all status ailments. And this is good when you deal with something like a Chansey, for example. Because Chansey wants to toxic you at every given opportunity. And basically, this particular Toad Kiss prevents Chansey from using its antics. In other words, you could set up those nasty plots, and this is the type of Toad Kiss that's great to deal with things like Chansey, because you could boost those nasty plots, and then those air slashes are going to hit very hard against Chansey. And Chansey can try to toxic you, but it can't really do much. So Chansey is forced to either do one of two options. Option one is to teleport out of there, or two, seismic toss you and hope that you don't use Roost or Soft Boiled. Now, speaking about Soft Boiled or Roost, go ahead and talk about them. So both of them recover HP, nothing really too special about them, but there's one notable difference. Soft Boiled doesn't have any sort of added effect, it just recovers your HP and that's it. Roost, however, has one added effect. For that one turn that you use Roost, you temporarily remove your flying type. Meaning that if you were to go first, then Tokus would be just a regular normal type when it uses Roost for that one turn. If you want to remove flying type weaknesses, then this is a good way to do it. You can use Roost. Now, I know that some people like to do that because some people run Togekiss against slower targets that can hit Togekiss pretty hard. And I know some people that don't want to be vulnerable to an earthquake. So I know some people who would rather run soft boiled. It just depends on your preference. That's why I listed both of them. So that way you can be able to pick one of the two. It's a matter of preference, so pick whatever recovery move you want. I am going to warn you that the slides are going to rotate since there are a total of four commons. So let's go and rotate those slides right now. We have the sub and sweep. The IVs are HP plus 25, attack doesn't even matter, defense is plus 25, special attack is 31, special defense is plus 25, and its speed is 31. Its EVs are 6 HP, 252 special attack, and 252 speed. Its nature is timid, so plus speed minus attack, and its moves are Nasty Plot, Substitute, Air Slash, and Aurora Sphere. 
Its item is a leftovers and its ability is Serene Grace. Let's go ahead and talk about the move substitute. At the cost of some of your HP, you do get to make a little teddy bear that takes the brunt of your damage. Unless your opponent has the move Bug Buzz or Hyper Voice. And substitute can also be affected by multi-hit moves like Icicle Spear or Rock Blast. And that is important, especially when dealing with a threat like Cloyster. I should note here that this specific Togekiss is also good to avoid moves like Toxic or Leech Seed. And actually the other one, the Heal Bell one, that's the vulnerability for that particular Togekiss is the fact that it can be Leech Seeded. This Togekiss can't because you have the Substitute up. You cannot be Leech Seeded while you're behind a sub, and you can't be Poisoned or Thunder Waved or will o -Wisp, even though that won't matter because Togekiss is not really an attacker. But you do want that Leftovers Recovery, so I would say that it is still preferable not to get burned if you can avoid it. That is the Sub and Sweep. It's good against multiple targets in OU, so feel free to use that if you want to go behind a teddy bear and sweep something like an Infernape because Infernape is faster than you and then you can air slash it right behind a sub so that way you're not vulnerable to Infernape's Stone Edge. So you can knock out targets like Infernape because even though Infernape is faster than you, you're behind a substitute. So what that means is that you can be able to knock out an Infernape with air slash and then you can switch Tokus out once the next Pokemon pops out. Or if Infernape has a Focus Sash, you can switch out as well to something either with Rocky Helmet, or you can switch out into Ferrothorn that has the ability Iron Barbs, being that you can knock out Infernape that way too. Feel free to knock out your targets however you want to knock them out. And then you have No More Status Problems. This is the bold variant of the No More Status Problems. And you might be saying to me, but Roy, don't you already have the defensive kiss, which has heal bell? I mean, you eliminate the status problems that way. It gets much better than that. Oh, this tug kiss is really nice. What are the IVs on this? So HP is 31, attack doesn't matter, defense is 31, special attack is 31, special defense is 31, and speed is 31. EVs are 252 HP, 238 defense, and 20 speed. Its nature is bold, so plus defense minus attack. And its moves are Psycho Shift, which is an egg move from either Hoot Hoot, Knocked Owl, Natu, or Exatu. Air Slash, Nasty Plot, and either Soft Boiled or Roost. And its item is Leftovers and its ability is Serene Grace. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Psycho Shift. Psycho Shift is a move that essentially gives your opponent the status problem. And then once that status problem is given, then you are healed of said status problem. Let me give an example of how this would be incorporated. And this is real advanced playing. So I would encourage you to learn a bit more about prediction and how people work in the competitive scene before you use this set of tokus. But if you feel confident in using this tokus, then feel free to use it. It is a viable set, but just be very careful. Let's just say hypothetically, you are running a Caesar or a Metagross, and you are staring at a Cofagregis. Now, Cofagregis would love nothing more than the will o -Wisp you, and essentially immobilize you from attacking real hard, or Cofagregis wants to hex you to death. Cofagregis tries to use will o -Wisp. What you can do is you can switch into Togekiss, let Togekiss take that burn. Why? Because Psycho Shift can be used on something. Now, Tokus can hold that burn. The moment that Cofagregis says, hey, you know, I can't hit this Togekiss, since Hex is a Ghost-type move and Ghost-type moves can't hit normal types, Cofagregis switches out. And your opponent is likely to go into something like a Garchomp, right? Because Garchomp has Stone Edge. What you can do is you can use Psycho Shift and give the Garchomp the burn, and then you can be able to finish off your opponent. Not to mention that this Tokus is spec in its defense. Togekiss can be really good if you know how to build it properly and if you know how to deliver the status problem to your opponent. I would not advise this for novice PvP players, but if you feel that you're ready to use this set, use it. This set has been used on me before and man, 
I had to just forfeit the match because I knew that no, this token kiss completely shut me down completely. And you have to knock out all the Pokemon that you think has Heal Bell first. And then once you do that, then you can just deliver the status ailments. You can shut that opponent down to the point where that opponent designs and says, okay, you won. That's what the No More Status Problems bold variant does. But we're not quite done yet. We're done with the common variants of Togekiss. Now let's go ahead and dive into the not common variant for Togekiss. We have the Choice Specs Kiss. And the IVs are HP plus 25, attack doesn't matter, defense is plus 25, special attack is 31, special defense is plus 25, and speed is 31. Its EVs are 6 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed. Its nature is timid, so plus speed minus attack. And its moves are Hyper Voice, Flamethrower, Air Slash, and Aurora Sphere. And its ability is Serene Grace. And its item is a Choice Specs. Let's go and talk about Choice Specs. Choice Specs is an item that Tokis could hold, and it boosts your special attack by plus 50% at the cost of being able to use other moves. So the only way the Tokis can use another move is if Tokis switches out. Let's go and talk about Flamethrower. Flamethrower is a powerful fire type move that has a chance to burn. Although, since we're talking about Tokis here, and Tokis has the ability Serene Grace, that burn chance gets increased slightly, meaning that there is a better chance to burn than if you weren't using a Toad Kiss. So that's the benefit to using Toad Kiss if you want to use the move Flamethrower. And then you have Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is a powerful normal type move. And the benefit to using Hyper Voice is that it could bypass substitutes. And this is good for targets like Volcarona or anything that is notorious for using the substitute move. Or it's even good for Garchomp too, if the Garchomp is a subclause variant implying that it doesn't have Stone Edge. Toad Kiss is really good. In fact, I'm going to say this. If you're having Volcarona issues, then I feel that Toad Kiss could be a pretty good investment for you if you're having Volcarona issues. Then you have Sub Defense Kiss, and this is the calm variant. The IVs are HP 31, and the attack doesn't matter, defense is 31, the special attack is 31, special defense is 31, and speed is 31. Its EVs are 222 HP, 38 special defense, and 220 speed. Its nature is calm, so plus special defense minus attack. Its moves are Nasty Plot, Substitute, Air Slash, and either Soft Will to Roost. Its item is Leftovers, and its ability is Serene Grace. Sub Defense Kiss, this is the Calm variant, which is really nice for things like Volcarona, as I mentioned earlier. And also, it's good for things like Starmie, or other targets that are special attackers. Even Milotic, too. This type of Toad Kiss is really nice. And this type of Toad Kiss is not vulnerable to Mirror Coat, because you're behind a sub. So you can boost up those nasty plots. And if your opponent decides, hey, I want to switch into Milotic, I want to mirror coat you, no problem, air slash it. And if your opponent says, you know what? I'm going to do haze. Well, air slash it, hope for a flinch. If you get hazed, just use nasty plot again, and then you can use air slash every time your opponent keeps trying to haze you. So this particular toke kiss is great at winning the stall war against Milotic. And plus Milotic is almost always burned since my Lodic has the Marvel scale ability. I know some people like to run leftovers on it. I don't recommend that personally, but there are some people that want to run leftovers on my Lodic, and even those variants get completely destroyed by Token Kiss. And also takes punishment from Hydreigon too. The, the Calm variant that is. And a bunch of other special attacking targets. And also Reuniclus hates Air Slash too, because Reuniclus can't do its antics of Hey, let's go ahead and use Iron Defense and Calm Mind. Well, Air Slash and Flinches, Togekiss can completely dismantle Reuniclus. And it can even dismantle things like Hippodon and Pelipper as well. So that is the good news about Togekiss. But, but hey, we're not quite done yet. The slides are about to rotate, so let's go ahead and rotate the slides right now. And then there's going to be one last rotation after this one, so... Watch out for that. So the third variant that you see here is the Sub Defense Kiss. And that's a not common variant for Toad Kiss. It's IVs are HP 31. It's attack doesn't really matter. Defense is 31. Special attack is 31. Special defense is 31. And speed is 31. It's EVs are 252 HP, 
238 defense and 20 speed. Its nature is bold, so plus defense minus attack, and its moves are Nasty Plot, Substitute, Air Slash, and either Soft Boiled or Roost. Its item is Leftovers, and its ability is Serene Grace. The bold variant is excellent to handle a lot of your physical attackers as well. Sernape and those sorts of targets. If you're looking for a Togekiss that can take punishment from defensive Pokemon, then the bold variant of the sub-defense kiss could be the solution that you're looking for. But we're not quite done yet. Let's go ahead and talk about the fourth Pokemon on our slide. The fourth Toad Kiss is the No More Status Problems, and this is the calm variant of the No More Status Problems variant. Its IVs are HP 31, attack doesn't matter, defense is 31, special attack is 31, special defense is 31, and speed is 31. Its EVs are 252 HP, 38 special defense, and 220 speed. Its nature is calm, so plus special defense minus attack. As moves are Psycho Shift, which is an egg move from either Hoot Hoot, Knocked Owl, Natu, or Zatu. Air Slash, Nasty Plot, and either Soft Boiled or Roost. And its item is Leftovers and its ability is Serene Grace. And as I discussed earlier with Psycho Shift, Psycho Shift is excellent to shift the status elements on other Pokemon for your stall fights. Although, like I said earlier, I would highly advise that if you are a novice fighter in the PvP world, don't run this variant yet unless you have learned the ways to predict your opponents and how to be able to see what could happen next or at least make good guesstimates as to what can happen next. Because if you're not careful as to when to use this Psycho Shift move, then this Psycho Shift move can be more of a detriment rather than a benefit. You need to show Psycho Shift when it's really worth showing. Psycho Shift, in order to use it effectively, it needs to be a surprise move. Be careful when you use Psycho Shift. And as I mentioned earlier, if you sense that there are any Heal Bell Pokemon in your opponent's team, make sure that those Pokemon are knocked out before using the move Psycho Shift because what good is it to use Psycho Shift if your opponent has Heal Bell in the back, not only can Heal Bell be used, but also the surprise factor is ruins. You gotta be cautious as to when to use that move. But there's one more variant here, and this is, this is where the two slides are gonna rotate and turn into one slide right now. So we have the Tricky Kiss, and the IVs are HP is plus 25, it's attack doesn't matter. Defense is plus 25, special attack is 31, special defense is plus 25, and speed is 31. Its EVs are 6 HP, 252 special attack, and 252 speed. Its nature is timid, so plus speed, minus attack, and its moves are Trick, Flamethrower, Air Slash, and Aurora Sphere. Its item is a Choice Scarf, and its ability is Serene Grace. Alright, Choice Scarf is an item that Tokus can hold. It can boost your speed by plus 50% at the cost of being locked into one move. This is good for threats like Garchomp, as I mentioned earlier. If you were to be running against a Garchomp that is not choice scarfed, then you can be able to use Air Slash and hope for flinches so you can knock out Garchomp that way. You might want to scout for that before using this particular Tokus. If that Garchomp is choice scarfed, then find another way to knock out Garchomp. But there is a move that I need to discuss here. Trick. And what Trick does is that it switches the items. So your opponent could be holding something like leftovers and you are holding the choice scarf. You can give your opponent the choice scarf while you hold leftovers. I would say this is good for Pokemon like Blissey, for example, where Blissey is reliant on that leftovers. And you use the move trick and now Blissey is essentially a sitting duck and now you can just knock out Blissey or Chansey or any wall. Any wall hates choice scarf. You can be able to use the tricky kiss if you want to swap items with your opponent. Feel free to use whichever Toke Kiss variant fits your team properly. And with that, we're gonna have to close out the computer here. And Toke Kiss addresses so many Pokemon to the point where I can't really talk about all of them in this segment here, but just to give a list of the Pokemon that Toke Kiss can handle. You can handle Chansey. Well, I mean, the Nasty Plot Heal Beller one can deal with Chansey. Caesar, it can deal with Skymery, it can deal with Blissey, it can deal with Pelipper, Milotic, Breloom, 
Salamance, because nowadays Salamances ran defensively. Metagross with Flamethrower, if you have it. Infernape, Garchomp, if you're Choice Scarf. And if the Garchomp is Choice Scarf, then Tokus can't handle it. Hippodon, Magnezone, if you have Aurora Sphere or Flamethrower. Fellow Togekiss, if you're faster than that Togekiss. Gliscor, Conkeldor. You can't handle Darmanitan, though, because Darmanitan has Flare Blitz, and that can hit pretty hard. And the vast majority of Darmanitans are Choice Scarf. You can handle Cofagregis, you can handle Reuniclus, Jellicent, Ferrothorn, Chandelure you can handle. Haxorus you could handle. You don't see Haxorus too often because Haxorus is outperformed by other Pokemon in OU. Tokus can handle Beninchao, implying that you are Choice Scarf because Beninchao is faster. And it can handle Torkoal and... Hydreigon. Togekiss can also handle Porygon too. And last but certainly not least, Togekiss can also handle Volcarona. And now I'm going to talk about the Pokemon Togekiss struggles with. Togekiss struggles with... Togekiss struggles with... Since Jolteon is the fastest Pokemon of OU, although you can override Jolteon's speed with a Choice Scarf. But even then, Jolteon can do Thunderbolt and knock you out because Togekiss has moves, but the issue is that Jolteon has a pretty decent tolerance towards what moves it can handle against Togekiss. So Jolteon is going to be a problem for Togekiss, even if you outspeed the Jolteon with a Choice Guard. Dragonite, because Dragonite has inner focus, meaning that it can't flinch, and Togekiss also struggles with Tyranitar, because Tyranitar has Stone Edge, and Stone Edge's Stab, and Tyranitar is in Sand Weather. So you just have to hope for the best when you deal with Tyranitar, especially the Choice Scarf variant. The Choice Scarf variant completely wrecks Togekiss. You also get wrecked by Weavile, and you get wrecked by Cloyster. Just be careful when you run into those threats. Other than those threats, you should be just fine as a Togekiss, and I wish you well in using the Togekiss. That's why I couldn't mention all the Pokemon the Togekiss can counter, because there are so many Pokemon Togekiss can address in OU, it would probably make the broadcast last for one hour. <laughs> Just talking about all the Pokemon the Togekiss can address. Before we sign off, I would like to cut to the breeding tool that Blue Nose has created here. And the Pokemon and Egg Move. Now, this is one tool that you can use for Togekiss. We're going to take a break from the genderless competitive analysis that we've been doing. Two of them in a row. We've done Magnezone and Starmie. But now we get to do Tokus, which is not a genderless Pokemon. Alright, so you can pick one of those moves. We're going to pick Psycho Shift because that's the move that's most useful here. So let's go ahead and check the Pokemon that you can breed with. So you can breed with either Hoot Hoot and Noctowl or Natu and Exotu. Now, I didn't want to mention Boobad and Smeargle with Sketch because I don't want to mention any sort of complicated chain breeding for Togekiss for the program, just to keep it simple. But you can chain breed it if you want. You can even chain breed Smeargle with Spinda, and then you can breed Spinda with Woobat, and then you can breed that with Togekiss. So you can do whatever you want there, and I wish you well in breeding Psycho Shift if you want to do that. You can also do the egg move for extra sensory, and I would highly encourage you to refresh your screen so let's go ahead and type in Tokus again. It works better when you refresh the screen prior to checking another egg move. Let's go ahead and check. So this is how you breed extra sensory on Togekiss. Even though in the sets listed here in the script, there's no extra sensory. I know that some people like to run it, so that's why I have the pop-up for all the Pokemon that you can breed with to give Togekiss extra sensory. Breed a Hoot Hoot and a Noctowl. So just in case you want Extra Sensory and Psycho Shift, well, you have it all in one Pokemon. Hoot Hoot and Noctowl. So I wish you well in the breeding department. And with that, we're going to have to close off. Oh yeah, and let me know if the Magnezone script is too long, too short, not involved enough, too involved. Let me know how you like the Magnezone character. And, like I said, I don't want to overuse it, so this is probably going to be the last time you see this Magazone character for a while. So I hope you enjoyed it. 
Anyways, this is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. Like the content that you see here. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News.